Hello kiddies, welcome back to our English grammar class. And in today's session, we are going to practice some of the exercises. How to change singular noun into plural noun. But before going to that, you have to revise certain rules which I have taught in our previous video. So what are the rules? There are nearly four rules to change a noun from singular into plural. The first rule is if a noun ends with words such as what are the words? SS, SH, CH, YES, 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 X, Z, 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 D, G, E then you have to add ES to the noun to change it from singular into plural. Okay? This is our first rule. When a word ends with SH, CH, YES, 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 X, Z, 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 D, G, E, then you have to add ES to the noun. So, coming to the second rule. If a word ends with consonant, okay? If a word ends with consonant plus Y, then you have to remove Y from that word and you have to add IES to the singular noun. So, this is our second rule. If a word ends with consonant plus Y, then you have to remove Y from that and you have to add IES. And now, coming to the third rule. In the same way, if a noun ends with vowel plus Y, Okay, if a noun ends with vowel plus Y, then you have to add yes to the verb. Yes to the noun to change it from singular into plural. So, if a noun ends with vowel plus Y, then you have to add yes to the noun. Now, coming to the fourth rule. So, what is the fourth rule? If a noun ends with F or FE, then you have to remove F or FE from the word and you have to add VES to the noun to change it singular into plural. So, if a noun ends with F or FE, you have to remove the word F or FE from that and you have to add VES to the word. Okay? Now, we will see some of the words and we will apply those rules according to the words. Okay? See here the first word is beach. So, we love to play in beach. So, here the beach word ends in what? It ends with CH. So, according to our first rule, if a word ends with CH, then you have to add ES to the word. So, the here the answer is beach plus ES. Beaches. So, in singular, we can say beach and in plural, it is beaches. And the second example word is bus. So, we often travel by bus. Okay? So, see here this word ends with what? This word ends with yes. 
letter or um, whether it is a vowel letter. So here B is a consonant or vowel. Of course, it is a consonant. So I here we are applying our second rule that if a noun ends with consonant plus y, we have to remove y from that verb and we have to add ies to the verb. So in singular we say baby. And in plural, we say babies. And see the next toy. So we play with toy. Okay. So it ends with what? Why? Again, it ends with why. But before the why, you can see the vowel letter. What is the vowel letter? O. So here we should apply our third rule that when a noun ends with vowel plus y, then you have to add yes to the word without adding or removing anything. Okay? So here toy. So toy plus s. The answer is toys. So in singular we can say toy. And in plural we can say toys. Okay? See the next one. Key. So here key. It ends with what? It ends with y. Before that, whether it is a consonant or a vowel letter, it is a vowel letter. E. A E I O U. So here it ends with what? Bubble plus Y. So without any um, without any removing words, we can easily add yes to it. So here keys is a plural verb. See the next one, leaf. So leaf, it ends with what? It ends with Y. Yeah. So it is our fourth rule that if a noun ends with F or FE, then you have to remove F and you have to add what? V, E, S to the word. So in here the answer is leaves. So if you show one leaf, then it is singular. If you show many leaves, then it is plural in number. See the last but here again it ends with yeah, loaf. We can say loaf of bread. So here, yeah. yeah. So if it ends with F, yeah, you have to remove the word, yeah, letter F, yeah, and you have to add V E S to the word. See here, yeah. well, if you remove the word, letter F, yeah, and you have to add V E S, yes, loaf. So we can say a loaf of bread or a loaf of breads in plural. So in this session we have learned about how we can change a singular noun into plural noun by following four simple rules. So you have to buy out those rules then only you can easily write or you can easily change a singular noun into plural. So, in our next session, we will learn another interesting topic. Thank you for watching.